Welcome to another video. As a YouTuber, I film myself a lot. And today I'm going to explain to you how I do that with my Nikon Z6. When I started photography back in the day, I picked the Nikon D5200 because it had, it had this nice flip-out screen that the Canons did not have at that time. So that was the reason for me to pick the Nikon over the Canon. But when it comes to video, the D5200 and I think most or all Nikon DSLRs have a major problem. They have a terrible autofocus system. The autofocus is not focusing on your face, it's just uh, find, trying to find the subject by focusing back and forth that's called focus hunting. It looks terrible in the video and it makes awful noises. Now the C6 has a phenomenal autofocus system that finds your face reliably and focuses in smoothly without a sound. Problem is, it doesn't have a flip out screen. So you, when you're in front of the camera, like I am now, you cannot confirm, confirm the viewport that you're filming. Only way you can do is take a test clip, go back to the camera, review the clip, Adjust the settings, go over in front of the camera until you're satisfied. That works, but it's really, really annoying. But there's a much better way to confirm the viewport when you're in front of your own camera. You can use your smartphone as a screen. And today I'm going to show you how. First thing you need to do is to install Nikon SnapBridge app on your smartphone. Then pair it with your camera one time. I'm not going to explain you how, that should be straightforward. But when it's paired one time, you can always use it with your camera. Then I set up my camera for video. I pick a viewport that I think is nice. I get in front of the camera myself. I select remote photography in the uh, SnapBridge app and then I can see what the camera sees. Done. This is now an external screen to my camera and I can even adjust things like shutter speed, uh, aperture, ISO, um, white balance, whatever, and I can start and stop the recording from here. So the transmission from the camera to the external screen is lagging significantly. So you see the movement on this screen earlier than on this screen. And um, that is not very nice, but it is enough for me to confirm that I am in the frame nicely. So usually I mount the camera then on my gorilla pot and put it in front of me so I can just look down there and see all right I'm still in the frame um, or I put it on top of my z6 which doesn't look nice but well it, it's doing the trick and then if you look at the uh, monitor you directly also look into your lens that's quite nice so if you have a different rack system than I have for the z6 you might find a nicer way to connect your smartphone right beside or on top of your z6 anything possible so using the smartphone as an external screen for my Z6 made my video life much easier. Of course a flip out screen still would be nice, but well, as long as I can confirm that I'm in the, screen, uh, in the picture, it's fine for me. I hope you liked today's video. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I'm always happy to read your comments and more than happy to answer them. And don't forget to like this video and to subscribe. If you have subscribed already then, Thank you very much for it, really appreciate it. I will continue to make videos and I hope I see you all the next time.